Hey Cancer, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. Anyways, thank you so much for coming. This will resonate Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Cross watchers, it can be your situation or your partner's. It kind of just depends. So let's just do a short and sweet intro and let's just hop right into your reading. What's the overall energy for love and romance? 420 for Cancer. Overall energy for love and romance. Eel, yes, hello, the lovers, I'm here for this. What is your partner's energy? What is Cancer's partner's energy right now? What is their current energy? What is their energy coming up as? Three of Cups. Okay. Probably should move these guys over. How does Cancer feel romantically about their person of interest? How does Cancer feel romantically about their person of interest. Okay. King of Cups. Some of you are definitely dealing with a um, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, possibly even a Leo or a Gemini. Um, this person may have a Mercury in Cancer. What's the current situation with um, Cancer? Didn't ask the whole question. Okay. What is the current situation with Cancer and their love interest? Current situation for Cancer. Wow. Ten of Cups. That's insane. Um, I don't know. I'm pretty stoked, to be honest, because I'm mostly Cancer. And even though my sun sign isn't, it's like this is all super fulfilling. Interesting enough, in Gemini's reading, they had all cups too, which was weird. Um, maybe some of you are dealing with a Gemini, or they may have Gemini in their chart. Um, what is the outcome? Okay, two of wands. All right, and there's Aries as well. So there's a couple things here, bottom of the deck. We have the Magician, so Gemini, Virgo. Scorpio or Aries, as well as strength at the top. There's Leo energy. I feel like for whatever reason, um, you know, there's probably been a period of time where, you know, things were a little bit rocky. And um, maybe it took some time to, like, forgive this person for what they've done. Um, and I think that that tends to be hard at times when it does come to uh cancer because cancers give so much so when somebody pretty much doesn't give that same amount back it's hard for um cancer to like move past that right but for whatever reason whatever's gone on between you and your love interest i feel like there was um some, some type of agreement that you've come to where you're working um towards like the future and i feel like you're both being very strong at this point I also feel like for some of you guys, um, there's a lot of conversation going on and it's almost like a level of restraint because you can't fit. Some of you guys can't physically see this person right now due to the coronavirus or due to whatever. Mm. So just keep that in mind. Now, as far as the energy, I mean, it's the lovers. Why, why are you showing me this as the energy for cancer? Okay. We have the Five of Cups. All right, hold on. Why are you showing me this? Why is the one? Okay, this is making sense. Temperance, Sag. Okay, so <laughs> what's going on here, in my opinion, for this month is is there is a period of waiting. I think, too, though, especially with that Five of Cups, it's almost like being sad that you have to wait, or it's almost like, come on, I want to, you know, I want to move forward with this. Um, and I feel like it's just a waiting game right now, especially with temperance. And I feel like for you, Cancer, it's very black and white. It's like, I want this person. I love this person. There's a level of love here. Unfortunately, I have to be patient until I actually see that person, um, which is very, very interesting. So I do feel like there is a level of sadness, though, for sure. Why? Why? Because you're waiting. But what else? What else is cancer? Um, what, why is the energy 
Five, why is the Five of Cups here for the energy? The Empress. I'm telling you, I feel like it's just a waiting period. It's like waiting out the day by day until everything is clear. Um, this person may be at a distance from you. They may live somewhere else. But for the most part, it, it's a wait because of whatever is going on in the world with the COVID-19. There's definitely a wait here. And it's also like kind of like trying to buy time the best that you can. And I also feel like for you, Cancer, you keep going back and forth on something. Why? Why do I feel like this? Because of the three of wands. It's like waiting, okay? Some of you may be uh, dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. But I honestly, I feel like this Empress is you. I also feel like right now there's a lot of like wanting to start shit quick. Like let's, let's pick it up. Let's, let's see where things going. It's like, you're so more on a, um, wanting to take action. And unfortunately, like that's not happening. It also can be a lack of communication. Or something and I also feel I don't know if it's you cancer or your person but I do feel like they're um, somebody's watching you or stalking you or you're doing that to them what's what's the last message you want me to say here for cancer what's the last message you want me to say for cancer for the energy I feel like you're overweighting That's um Cancer Moon. How would Cancer feel about things? The star. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you're over something. It's weird. It's like there's a lot of love in the air. However, I feel like for you, it's like you're tired of waiting. Four of Cups, Five of Cups, Three of Wands, Temperance. Like there's a level of wait here. Some of you may be finding out that you're pregnant um, or someone else is pregnant that's related to your situation. And I feel like for you guys, you, you, you do understand like this is what has to happen and I feel like they're asking you to take like a different approach or a different um, way of looking at things, looking at things in a unique way. And it's also um, in somewhat focusing on yourself and getting yourself right, because there is a weight regardless of how, you know, you want to slice and dice it and rub it down. There's definitely a weight here. And all you can do is kind of, um, you know, continue to transform, continue to better yourself. And I feel like this is going to happen, but you definitely have to get out of your head with whatever's going on and really work on you. It's like getting you right mentally and also emotionally, I feel like, because I do feel like you're upset because it's hard for you to detach, right? If you were going through something with somebody, I feel like it's going to smooth out definitely. But I think as far as the energy goes, I definitely feel like um, there's a sense of security and familiarity that you're holding on to. And I feel like you're worried about this change. I feel like once everything comes full circle, though, I do think you're going to go back to a place where you feel like, okay, this is this is coming together. This is looking right, etc. So for your partner's energy, you have the three of cups. Why is the three of cups here? With judgment. Okay, how does Cancer feel about this? Okay. Um, with your partner's energy coming up as the Three of Cups in Judgment, sometimes I look at this as Libra because there's a level of judgment here. I feel like this person, this is Mercury and Cancer, the, um, this person, I feel like your person is very sensitive right now. Um, even though the three of cups is here, it's like, 
something may have happened. Maybe someone in their family um, got sick or something like that. But this person tends to be a little bit more withdrawn right now. Because it's like they're coming, like, for some reason it's coming across as, like, personal issues. I know that's weird to see this. I also feel like this person is very, is, is um, as much as they're withdrawn, they're very, very um, emotionally defensive. Like, they take things personally. And it's like something like, let, like let's say, an example um somebody in their family is sick and you know cancer you try to say something nice like well don't stress don't worry because remember like you know as long as they have you know as long as they're good or as long as they don't have a fever they're fine i feel like this person gets upset at that am i right yeah four pentacles okay there's capricorn it's almost like they're holding on to something definitely and it's it's really like I feel like they're going through something that's about them that they're not willing to completely share as well because there is something to be said here it possibly could deal with like their father or a father figure or even them what else do you want me to tell cancer about their energy and the reason that I'm not reading the Three of Cups is like a gathering, whatever, because you're over here, Four of Cups, Five of Cups in it. But with judgment here, like what's the energy of judgment for Cancer's person of interest? Doing the right thing, being strong, okay? I feel like a lot of people are going through stress, and I feel like your partner does not handle stress as well as you do. They're highly emotional right now. And I feel like they're very snappy, but you have to take into consideration whatever's going on here. So I just want to throw that out there, or they may not be talking as much because they're worried. How can't I feel about this? Their partner's going to do. It's almost like you're waiting for them to say something, or you're waiting for them to take a level of action. But the Seven of Wands is here, so that's definitely Mars and Leo. You know, with the Seven of Wands, um, how you feel, I feel like you're definitely um, defensive. Let's keep it 100. I also feel like it's because your passion and your desires are running so high right now. And I do think that there is a level of a power struggle here for the time being. Because for you, it's like you like to know where everything is so that you can mentally prepare. And I think for you, it's like you're demanding a level of loyalty because you act with your heart. And everything you do has a sense of pride, right? And this can definitely be your partner too with the Seven of Wands. But that's how you feel about it. So you're still somewhat defensive. Why is Cancer defensive about this energy? Because of the Hierophant. The Hierophant with the Ten of Swords. For some of you guys, this is a third party situation. I am going to say that. And it's like, I think for you, you're upset because this person can't leave. So, you know, part of you is saying, well, I don't understand why you can't come. Or maybe they're stuck at home and maybe they already have a situation. Maybe they already are married. Maybe uh, the empress here is this person's wife or estranged wife. So you're just waiting for everything to kind of unfold. However, it's like you're constantly checking your phone, waiting for a level of communication, and I don't think it's coming. Definitely. And also with the Hierophant here, it's like I think you're frustrated because this person may have said something to you like, hey, I can't do this right now, or hey, I'm not willing to leave. I have to follow rules. Like the Hierophant to me reminds me of like a level of rules. Also, too, I think for you, because you know what's happening, even without this person saying something or vocalizing it, 
I think because of that, it's like, you already know. You know what I mean? And it's hard for you because your intuition is saying one thing, right? But then your, um, your logic kicks in. And I think that that's what's hard right now because there's a level of facts here. It's like, uh, this person isn't doing what you want them to do because they're possibly with somebody else. They're stuck in one place. Or if they're not seeing somebody else and if they don't already have a whole other relationship, it's because they're refusing to kind of do things your way. I also feel like, too, like this person, for whatever reason, um, they like to detach and then ignore situations personal situations honestly too and they do know you where it's like they know what your strengths and weaknesses are and sometimes they do tend to play on them okay so how you feel about them is the king of cups why does cancer feel the king of cups towards their person of interest romantically because of the world okay this is big scorpio energy it's also Capricorn and all the other fixed signs, Aquarius, um, Taurus, Leo. I feel like you receive some type of news, either pertaining to the virus or pertaining to your partner. Well, what was received here? Five of Wands. Either somebody's fighting the sickness or, you know... How you feel about your person is maybe things have come to a conclusion and there's a level of fighting over what to do, what's right. Somebody's definitely up at night thinking on how to make it right. How, how do we fix this? But I do want to say, though, with all this fighting going on, there, there's, a, there's a very scattered and um, unfocused type of energy. And I feel like somebody got angry super quick because you're viewing this situation as possibly it's over with your partner. Some of you guys. But I feel like there's a level of fixation here for you and um, your partner. Why? Why are they arguing or why is the five of wands here? Because of the ace of wands. How does Cancer feel about this? The Hermit. Why? Okay. It's weird because I think right now, whatever's going on with you and your partner, like, I do feel like there is a level of conclusion. Definitely. Especially with the five of wands, like you receive some type of information, it started a fight. This person may have said something to you to the extent of, I'm going to try to have a new start with this person, or I need to focus on myself right now. I have to worry about myself and how you feel about it as a hermit. So obviously it's like shutting the book on something and being very, very quiet, extremely quiet. And it's almost waiting for this person, I feel like, to come back. Yeah. But it's like you're closing that chapter. And I feel like for you, this person, he they may have, um, well, one, you view, you view them as your other half, right? King of Cups. Cancer is a, usually the Queen of Cups. But you're definitely in your head right now with where they're staying and where they are. Like, it's crazy how much you're in your head. Like, it, it's a lot of Gemini energy. And I think for you, it's really trying to get as much knowledge and understanding as possible with what's going on with this person. However, are, are, are they being very... Um, are they being honest about the situation with cancer or are they leaving things out? Are they being honest with cancer or are they leaving things out? I feel like they were very honest. King of Pentacles, Taurus Leo. 
I think it had to do with family though. Like this person is, is trying to make things right with their family. It's crazy how all these cards are good. And then it's like you get into it and it's kind of, um, it's kind of fucked up to be honest. Okay. For your situation, you have the 10 of cups. Why is this the situation between cancer and their person of interest? Four of wands, 10 of cups. But I feel like this four of wands, 10 of cups, I feel like this is you or your partner in a different situation. Watch. How would cancer feel about, how does cancer feel currently about the situation? Four of wands, 10 of cups. How does cancer feel about this? The magician with the devil. Okay. This is how you feel, right? You know, the magician is upright, but because it's paired with the devil, one thing is you can view this as a contract that this person is tied to, or you also can feel like this person definitely manipulated you and they weren't necessarily honest about their situation. Like, I think for you, you feel like, okay, you fucked me over. Whoa, sorry. And I think for you too, like part of you is like, did you ever really love me? And it's almost like you feel like this person has been alive the entire time. Um, one more, one more card, please. How would cancer feel about this current energy? Or the current situation between them and their person of interest. How would cancer feel about this? How would cancer feel about the current and the current situation? How would cancer feel about the current situation between look? Eight of swords in your head, fixated, wondering what happened, what else was a lie. I think you're confused. Mm hmm The situation is this person gave you an illusion that everything was good. And then I think you quickly found out that where they're staying, this four of wands is not. The four of wands is real. That's Venus and Aries. However, like the, the Ten of Cups, it was almost like an illusion, right? That's Mars and Pisces. It was an illusion on what's going on, right? And it's almost like somebody popped the bubble and now it's a level of reality. And I think for you, you're going back questioning like what the fuck happened? And it could have been because you were too focused on, I don't know trying to make things work with this person. So let, I do want to go back to this really quick, back to the beginning, because now that this has all panned out, it's making sense. Okay, the energy is the lovers, right? These are two people that do love one another. I definitely feel like this person loves you, and I can ask more about that in the extended. However, it's like love, but there's a lot of hurt here because you're waiting. And I feel like this wait is happening because of everything that's going on right now, you know, in the world. But I also feel like it's because of this Empress. How does Cancer feel about this Empress? The High Priestess, maybe this is somebody that's hidden, somebody you don't know about. Yeah. Or it can be you. One more card. How does Cancer feel about the Empress here for the current energy for love and romance? How does cancer feel about it? Feel about Empress for current love and romance. So some of you guys, it is you. Okay, the sun. But I think for some of you guys, this isn't. Some of you guys are sitting back waiting to see how things pan out. For others of you, this is definitely a third party situation. This definitely can be a third party situation. Okay. It's like I feel like this person isn't communicating with you a lot since they've been home. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for hanging on with me. All right. I'll talk to you later. Peace.